Yo, what's good, Pack Horse family? Welcome back to another edition, baby. Listen, every day we fall short, right? We all know that. Listen, here, I left out the house this morning. I forgot my whistle. And I don't know how to whistle with my mouth, but listen here, the message just gonna go on. I wanna give y'all this meditation that I had this morning, man, this word that I got when I was meditating this morning. And it's factored around two things, obedience and healing. When, you, when, we, when we out here going through life, life go always, life go always put a whooping on us, right? We go always take an L somewhere, right? We go always take a loss. We go always, we go always do that. That's just a matter of a fact. But guess what? We go get some wins too. We go win too. But listen, I want to pray healing over somebody. I want to pray healing for somebody that got one of those, they, they, one of them diseases that they say hard to cure. I want to, I want to pray heal, healing over somebody that's going through some things with their health wise and, and everything and it just ain't going right for. I want to pray healing over that. I want you to believe that, that, that it's going to get better. I want to pray healing over somebody, somebody marriage, somebody marriage on the rocks and they just don't know if they want to go on, why they should go on or should they go on. I want I want to pray healing over your marriage. I want to pray healing over your over your relationship with your significant other if you're not married. I want to pray healing if you're going through some things. I want to pray healing over your friendships, your family memberships, all that. If something goes wrong at your job, I pray healing over that. I pray healing over your finances if you're in the middle of a financial struggle. I pray healing over them things for you, Pack Horse family. Because I know every day we all battle, everybody battling some silent battles. We all battling some silent battles that we don't want to let out to the world, Pack Horse family. Am I right or am I wrong? That's just a fact. That's just a fact sometimes. But how we deal with these things is very, very powerful. And if I don't know nothing else, I know prayer changes things. And it's a prayer of a, of, 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 of a righteous person is effective. And I may have it a little messed up and twisted up, but that's what it say. Look, and I like a proverb. Don't quote me. It's either 24 and 10 or 10 and 24. I know them numbers right. And it say, if you faint, if you, what did it say? Um... If you falter at the at the sign of, of, of a struggle or something, how, how how small is your strength? Listen, we in the Pack Horse family, we ain't come to have small strength. We come to rise above anything. Listen, Pack Horse, we come to rise above anything that come along in our path. And understand that everything ain't gonna go our way. But we got to learn how to make adjustments And we got to learn how to find new ways to win So that's on the healing part I pray healing over everybody that needs some healing, baby I pray healing over everybody that ain't in the right train And ain't in the right frame of mind I pray for healing over your mindset I pray for healing over your ability To rebuke that devil in the name of the Lord And tell him don't have no place in your life Back horse family I was feeling that this morning Keep speaking to me, listen And the other thing I was, I was, I was feeling was being obedient and I had to think back to my calling and where I was in life I got I got baptized in August of 2019 and at this time I was working at this call center one digging it one digging it the spirit for river was already telling me I, the purpose will serve it's time for you to get out of here but every day I got to sit and I got to look out this nice little window the sun I got to see the sun right the sun was beautifully every day beaming on me every day around the same time every morning pack horse family Followed by that son was these same birds. These same birds that still with me today. Y'all know I be talking about this. The most I communicate with me through numbers and through these particular type of birds. And they will fly every single day. Understand what I'm saying? So finally I came in there and I said, the spirit told me it's time for me to move and I got to move. Right? And I was sitting at the park with my kids, watching my kids run around, talking with my mom. And these same birds, here they go. So you know what I did? I seen them birds. That was my the last confirmation I needed. I wrote out my two-week notice. I didn't know what I was going to do next. I wrote out my two-week notice. And I got out of there before my two week notice because they pushed me out before my two week notice back or family Listen to the story. I'm telling y'all they pushed me out of there It was already time for me to go. I should have been left Understand what I'm saying. So at this point in time now I'm fully starting to come aware of who I am what I want out of life But I still wander Here and there and everywhere and I had a few more jobs there since then and then it was another I was listening to the radio I was listening to the radio and they were saying that they did a poll about people secretly being fired while they still on the job. And I had to think about it. I said, you know what? That happened to me too. What you talking about? I wish I had my whistle. <laughs> I wish I had my whistle right now. I was at this job, man. I was at the job and I kind of came up a little bit, a little bit. 
And, uh, but anyways, I ran into a little problem with a few of these individuals, man. They were sending me out there. And, man, I was only working a one to two day week. I said, I can't be living like this. But guess what? Here and then again, the most I had been told me to move. He told me the purpose served. What are you still doing here? I told you. If you stay here, it's all on you. So I went. You know they got these chains at command they want you to talk to. And I went and talked to the chain of command. And the, and the feedback I got, I said, man, you know what? This is my last day here, too. And I broke the lease, baby. And I had to move on up out there because I got fired. And I was still on the job. Backcourt family, but when you listening and when you paying attention to the signs and when you in that in that spiritual realm, you can discern through all these. So that's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to start checking into your spiritual realm. Start paying attention to your heart. Start paying attention to your feelings. So when I'm paying attention to this, to the, when I'm preaching, now I'm trying to spread the kingdom through the power of purposes. I was rapping with my mentor the other day. I was rapping. I was rapping. I was talking to Jay. It's real life Zoom call. Talking to my mentor. And, and I was telling him about what I was doing. He said, okay, you got to get specific. He said, he said, there's already a stat out there to say 80% of the people hate their jobs. Them who you talking to. So if I'm talking to one of those 80% of the people out there that you don't like what you're doing, you can't wait till your next off day. Before your off day come, you already ready to have another off day. Before you go into that job, you already ready to go. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, it's time to tap in. It's time to tap in to pay attention to the, how that job or how that situation making you feel. And it could be a relationship or anything. It's time to tune in. Because remember, purpose requires elimination. Don't ever forget it. And certain things got to go for you to get closer to your calling, Pack Horse family. You got to get closer to your calling. Listen, and I think I'm getting off track. But listen, the next thing I was preaching about, I was, I was meditating on it. And it came to me, was being obedient. And two people that I thought about was being obedient, was Matthew in the Bible. My favorite part is Matthew. When God, when, when, most, when, when Christ came across him, he was a tax collector, collecting coins, I think, and he said, come on, man, follow me. And what Matthew do? No hesitation, no nothing. He followed him, became one of the disciples. Come on now, listen to what I'm saying. You follow him without asking, no questions. For us, that's hard to do. We got responsibilities and all that. But there's a lot of things that probably talking to you that's telling you it's time to move on from that relationship. It's time to move on from that job. It's time to move on from that friendship it's something talking to you about that it's time to move on from something right something talking to you but we ignore it we ignore it we ignore it he chose not to ignore it and he became great in the kingdom and listen another part another person i want to talk about really really quick really really quick was 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 peter and acts simon peter and acts he was in the middle of a train he was in the middle of a vision and, and he seen what he seen in the vision after he was waking up some people came to him and said hey we need you to come with us he gave no he gave no without a doubt he said he went and, and, and off of this it, it was another individual calling him that was spoken to by an angel that said i need you to go i need you to go sit for peter to send peter down here to spread the kingdom understand what i'm saying somebody out there being called to spread the kingdom through the power of your purpose and i want to help you get there pack horse family and i'm about to get on up out your way but listen i want to help y'all get there hey shout out to all the new people that's coming along in this pack horse family i appreciate you get ready to transform your mind get ready to get ready to go higher and higher listen and that's why i created I, listen i know finances and all that and we living in a world where inflation is at an all-time high pack horse family so i try my best to do to get back to my calling that's why i created a free course and i'm and i'm encouraging you to go check that out if you're in this 80 percent and you're struggling with finding out what your purpose is because some people think it's just this hard hard thing to find and it's not it's, it's not if you're living in that 80%, if you're living in some kind of unhappiness, it's not. And finding your purpose, look, finding your purpose is bring you peace. And I ain't finna keep rambling on. But that's why I created that. I created that bit just for y'all. Go check it out. It's in my link. The free academy. Go check it out. Go check it out. And I guarantee you're gonna transform your mind a little bit. You're gonna be thinking a little bit deeper. And if you do, I got something else for you. Let's get on the phone. Let's talk. I'm ready to hit my next level, baby. And that's why I'm out here going and getting mentored and growing and growing. And I want you to do the same, Pack Horse family. Heal yourself today. I'm praying healings over you. I'm praying obedience over you, Pack Horse family. And if I have my whistle, I'd be blowing. But for now, I gotta blow this air. Peace, success, and prosperity.